Hey everybody. Hey guys. Hey. It's Nardo FB. Welcome to chapter six oh three. Reed's here. Yep. He's not dead. And he's I'm here. still alive. I'm also here, and then John's here as well. John's here. I, I'm here. Hey John. Hey. How you doing? Recently I'm awake. Uh, a little yeah. down in the dumps today. I'm just tired. Okay. Not really. I'm just like groggy. Anyway, uh, six oh three. Yeah. So who was, who was excited about it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah, I, I was a little just indifferent about it. I think Matt was too. Matt can't be here, but he said that uh, oh, he was supposed to have a joke. Damn you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> joke of the week, Matt. <sighs> Alright, well, you guys go with it. I'm going to think of a joke. <laughs> you do that. Yeah, quick recap. Um, it was a flashback slash history chapter looking at Obito recovering from being crushed by a rock. Mm -hmm. And merging with Zetsus, so comic relief Zetsus being like, yeah, hey, relief Zetsus, we don't poop. Yeah, we don't poop. What's pooping like? <laughs> I feel like that's a lot, like really, like on a lot of the internet lately. I read like ten posts on Reddit today about that. About Cause, pooping? Yeah, because I have nothing better to do at work. Cool so, work. Yeah. yeah but, um. Yeah. No, it was pretty enjoyable, and it's kind of interesting to kind of see, like, kind of alludes to maybe why. Back when Obito was Toby, why he acted like the way he did, instead of being like, "Oh, he's obviously just being an asshole." So. Yeah. No, we were talking about this beforehand. Um, the idea of several Tobys or several like personalities of Toby. Mm -hmm. And we saw like the one that took on the fourth. We saw a long-haired one in one of the flashbacks dealing with um, the one that Masker of the Uchi is. The one the Masker of the Uchi is. Yeah, that, uh, that also yeah I guess that was the same one that we saw in the flashback with Kasame. Yeah. Which yeah. makes you wonder, why did he say... Oh, uh, it's Madara. Uh, Madara, because he, like, said, said, like, he obviously recognized him. If it was Obito, he was yeah. like... Maybe he just assumed because half of his face was missing. Because that, he, it would have been, like, broken to shit. No, but it, it, Kasame came off as a lot... More, oh, well... Obito is actually going to the Hidden of the Mist soon, like, mm -hmm. in the next chapter. Which is where Kisan was yeah. at. He might have met up with him at some point, and like, that's like the first time they meet, and then the second time when he shows him his face again, I don't know. And Madara is also alive at the moment, so maybe he was Madara. Yeah, but potentially. Uh, just old as fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Well, his hair wasn't gray in that point. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The, one <sighs> of the, the thoughts, or I guess questions that this opens up, is if he's hopping into. In Zetsu bodies and possibly different Zetsu bodies at the mm -hmm. time. Does that do anything to his personality? Like, is That'd it merging minds as well as bodies? Is that what you know, turns him more and more mm -hmm. serious? I, I more thought it was really dark. I, I thought it was really cool when Obito became like Gumby Iron Man with uh, <laughs> by putting on putting on like the android body. I thought it was kind of cool. Why did it just get way darker? The screen. Oh, the screen. No. <laughs> I'm not fixing it. Um, but no, I thought it was really cool. And then you mentioned that, like, in the beginning, it reminded you of RoboCop, which yeah. I thought was kind of awesome. He's like evil Iron Man, Gumby, I RoboCop. Yeah, just like Obito. RoboCop. I mean, he's on the brink of death. Mm -hmm. In order to save him, they give him this weird android body, and he comes back fucking ready to tear shit up. Mm -hmm. Except when RoboCop. He, <laughs> except when he tries to tear shit up, his body just evaporates into nothing. <laughs> so he's like, well, I'm gonna punch this wall. No, that, that's what I mean with the... Like the Iron Man suit. Yeah, thing. he's like, I can punch this wall. All of a sudden, they Robocop mm -hmm. him out. I, I liked watching Obito train in that chapter. I thought that was really cool. And yeah. He's like, oh, I gotta go and save him. He's like, ah. Uh, you can also see kind of the, doesn't work. <laughs> the rivalry there, like his motivation yeah. for training. Yeah. You keep getting the snippets of him and Kakashi. But, you know, felt a lot like Naruto and Sasuke. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely did. Yeah. You also saw a lot purpose. of malice in it, too. Where you're talking about Kakashi, he's like, oh, that idiot in the top. Like, Kakashi's yeah, like, I didn't say that. Did I say that? I might have said that. <laughs> I might have said that. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Um, well, you know, I, old habits die hard. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. But at the same time, he kept yeah. saying, like, like I, I can't wait to get out of here so I can see Kakashi and run again. Mm -hmm. So obviously he cares about them. And they yeah. made up at the end, so. Yeah. I think what happens in the next chapter is really going to show us what sets Obito down this path of, like, hatred and... Probably Rin's death. That's yes, what it's leading like, up to. I'm guessing Rin's death. Yeah. I wonder if he actually has a heart in it. Mm-hmm. 
Like, yeah, he tries to save her, and then, like... Right, and kind of pins most of the blame on Kakashi. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how much responsibility he does or doesn't have in the wait till next week. But. I hope that he's under my control too and actually slits her throat. Ooh. Oh, Zet, uh, or... Kakashi? Zetsu body takes over. Oh, that? Or No, I was wondering, like, Kakashi get taken over in some way and then actually, like, like by a puppet dude. I know it's the mist, so it's not the same... But something similar to that, oh, but some and like, of, like he actually be physically responsible for her death, I think that'd be interesting, like really cool. Ooh, no, no, I kind of like that. That would that would throw an interesting wrench into things. Like he doesn't remember doing it. Obviously, you know he no, would still think, oh, because he feels some guilt towards like like he feels responsible. Dead. That's I why think. whenever he said something, he would never like actually when Obito would say something to him or Toby, he would just kind of be quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Could be the same kind of results <coughs> of just not being able to protect her, or yeah, but maybe mm-hmm. it's just Kishi. Being a troll I don't know that being a troll. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, one thing throw a wrench into things. Yeah, one thing we definitely talked about before we started the video was that um, if he can combine with like that uh, that android body. Um, and he's like, oh, you know, I can help you break through this wall. It would explain his immediate jump power level-wise when he yeah. fights the fourth. Yeah, being able to take on... Yeah, and his hair is long. So, there's that. But when he fights the fourth, he's, his hair is he's short. In, he's got the chains. He's got the, uh, the, gooey the arm. different mask. Uh, like he, yeah, he, he does, does have a lot. different mask. He he's not wearing... And what I noticed with this Toby was that when he... The Toby wrapped around... Or not Toby, I'm sorry. With, with uh... Yeah, this, uh, that too. Mm-hmm. When it wraps around him, he doesn't have hair. Like, like oh yeah, it covers his hair. Mm-hmm. But so, it has the mask shape. Yeah, well, yeah this, this one was, was thinking, definitely like inside another I body. I don't know how so. much he's going to use that body thing later on. I feel like the masks were just um, Symbolic? tribute, yeah, tribute mm-hmm. to... Um, like Zetsu at some or that or that Zetsu because I feel like that Zetsu is not going to be around for too much longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that would make a lot of sense. I thought it was kind of interesting to hear like the really happy-go-lucky version of Madara's plan, where he's like, "Oh, everyone's going to be really happy in the stream world. We're going to force him into it, but it's going to be great." Yeah, like, no, <laughs> dreams and fun and joy. Yeah. Everybody wins. In your dreams, yeah. you can bring everybody back. <laughs> when you poop in your dreams, you poop for real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're in third grade again. But, um... Oh, I thought it was really cool that, uh... Madara had to take his, like, nap time hibernation thing. Because he was, like, uh... Obito. Can't tell if you're being sarcastic or legitimate right now. No, like, I thought it was interesting to, like, just to learn a little bit more about Madara. Like, mm-hmm. this guy has to, like, recharge, like, he runs on a battery, like... Mm-hmm. Comatose for a couple of... I don't know how long he's been down there, but obviously it's long enough that he can train... To the point, like you see him from he can't walk to like I can walk, I can move my arms, I can almost break through this rock, and Madara hasn't been up at all. That's a good point. Yeah, he's kind of in stasis, yeah. hibernation, whatever you want to call it right now. Mm-hmm. That is cool. I didn't really think about that. No, I neither. I th- I'm feeling like Black Zetsu is also going to be created after we'll call it Toby Zetsu gets mm-hmm. um destroyed, killed. Something happens to it. I thought Black, Black Setsu already existed. But I don't think we've seen him yet in the flashback. Uh, didn't he say something about how like there was one of them that's out there like gathering information? Wasn't there a panel about that? I could be I could be totally wrong about that. Yeah, check it. I was on the impression. Fact check for us. I thought that he was saying like they. Anyway. <laughs> I thought that he was saying like they can go and like go underground. Go underground and like travel and, and like. Do, like yeah. I feel like Mar- mm-hmm. it's, it's literally done to have like three Zetsus at that point. Well, I thought there was the one where it was like the white half, the black half, and he's like, oh, where's the other guy? And the guy, he's like, oh, he's out gathering information or something. Because I remember something specifically saying that. I don't know whether that's another white Zetsu or like. We'll, have to, we'll, yeah, we'll see. That. Yeah, the three that know. Yeah. Information it's kind of interesting to see different looking Zetsus, though. Like, we, we see like the, all the ones that look like, you know, like the white foot soldier ones, we see the black white one, but it's kind of interesting to see the one that we. I, I feel like he, they must have said his name, but I can't remember it for the fucking life of me. Oh, the Swirl Face the one? Swir- yeah, Swirl Face. I didn't get the impression they had names. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's kind of interesting to see, like, it's like, oh, like what other kinds of Zetsus might there be, and that actually might open it up for further things down the line. I got I, the impression... Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I was just going to say, I got the impression that the ones we're seeing early on, like in the flashbacks, were almost kind of prototypes, uh-huh. yeah. and... 
you know, eventually whoever, Madara, Obito, Toby, whoever winds up kind of seeing this through, comes up with one basic type, mm -hmm. and just going through iteration after iteration. Okay. Grand, it's just kind awesome. of a feeling I get out. I really liked that um, Toby Zetsu was like so, a good guy Zetsu, basically. Like, can we, uh, can when. We, can we use the name Androbido? Androbido. <laughs> That's. <laughs> you can. Yeah, I'm going to use Androbido. Uh, Makes him sound like, like he has no genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, at the end, where he's like, Aren't you mod uh, Obito's like, Aren't you moderate guys? Like, why are you mm -hmm. helping me? And then the. The Toby Zetsu doesn't say anything, but the other Zetsu's like, uh, this he's a he's a good guy or he's a nice guy. Someone oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's really interesting that he says that because he said it in a way like he's not exactly agreeing with this plan, but he's not going to say anything about it and just let him do whatever. One of the translations I saw actually said, "Oh, Madara is a good boy." You know, just like the the yeah. Toby's a good boy. Yeah. Did you read multiple translations of oh, these yeah. chapters? Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it, it kind of pastes through that because like half huh. the times like you read it one way and then the other. The next, like a kiss mug, it's one way. Naruto, uh, yeah, they're like Naruto's yellow. You know, I, I read mine at work, so I just I go, I pretend to take a shit, and then I'll go read it. <laughs> Pull it up on the phone. There's yeah. been a lot of poop in this episode. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah, know about anyone else. Shit. But I'll Talk usually read the chapter like, like three or four times with three or four different translations. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the manga panda one that comes out very first. Uh, manga stream has someone else. I know for a long time uh, they used to come out. Sounds like I should have been a scientist and had my whole day off. Like I say, I go to work at noon right now. I'm yeah. on noon to eight, so I got my morning free. You have to tell the you guys. We're gonna find you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll start reading multiple chapters. <laughs> yeah, no, some are done better than others. Okay. but I just read manga here. I feel like that's the easiest one for me to get. Fair enough. But uh, sometimes yeah. it feels like I get you know a little bit better insight reading a couple different interpretations of it. I guess different translations. Okay. Whatever, whatever. I said, oh, <laughs> no, I'm talking normal myself now. Um, so, do we have anything else to say about this? Are we good? Uh, Not really. We're like ten minutes away from free apps at app or half free apps, apps. dude. Oh, yeah, God, going with a gun. Wow. Everything's yeah. free. <laughs> Put it in the bag. <laughs> so yeah, Nine of everything. <laughs> um, do but, you have anything to? Uh, yeah, it was. It was a very, like, in-between chapter, like, leading up to next week's chapter. I think next week we're going to be like, oh, my God, it was so crazy. Like, <laughs> Kakashi was there, then Rune was there, and then Obito Zetsu was there, and then, uh, like, we're going to be excited. But, like, this week it's kind of just, like, he's training. Yeah. He's going to get strong. He gets stronger. Kakashi were going to get in trouble. Uh, and he's going out to save them, or try to save them. But he's going to fail because shit gets fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting idea. I don't know. Having been kind of a... A sour puss on the whole reveal. I'm actually enjoying these chapters where it kind of goes back, shows us well, some of where it came from. I really like filling in some of the plot holes. I I enjoy the whole like plot hole filling, but one of the things I really really enjoy is like they're making you not hate or oh, like Obino right now, like and Madara. Yeah, and Ma like before they were assholes. Like they're going around with their evil plan, and people are dying. And now you're looking at this and it's like, yo, this guy's not that bad. Like, he's kind of kind of like Naruto. And then depending on what happens, you, I feel like you're almost yeah. going to sympathize with him. And maybe, I think it also adds a little bit more depth to the character as well as a chance that there can be, like, some sort of redemption or, like, the Vegeta effect. <laughs> mm -hmm. they, In general, Naruto as a series is pretty good at that. Like, humanizing yeah, the bad, bad guys, guys, giving them some sort of motive and yeah, reason. Not just like, I'm a bad guy, I'm here to do bad things. Huh? Well, we yeah. talked about that not earlier on. Not all bad guys are Yeah, we talked about that, guys. like, like in literature and even movies, television, the best bad guys are the ones that, you know, think of themselves as the hero in the story. Yeah, right, that are like, relatable and like somehow, even in their own mind, noble. <laughs> but oh, Sally, there's one part that he's like, oh, I don't know why you guys are fighting me, everybody knows the good guy wins, and I'm like, Jack, yeah. you're the bad guy. Oh. <laughs> there's, that, uh, there's that one part where he's like, um, I was like, oh, I was like raiding New Haven, and then it's like this guy was like, oh, don't, he's like, came out with a fucking spoon, so part. I clawed his eyes out. That's the same part. <laughs> That's the same part? <laughs> Moral of the story is she's a bitch, and is what kid, mine was. Yeah. And his kid's like, <laughs> oh, no, oh, no dad, way. Man, it's it's fucking hilarious. Like, you have to be there. Uh, you're a bitch. <laughs> you're a bitch. Um, Borderlands 2 is a really great game. You guys should all buy it. Oh, uh, I guess since we're kind of done with Naruto. 
Bleach was kind of awesome this week. I, I you disagree? Bro. Dude, he erased his half of his body. No, no, no. No, I, I like I like the fights in Bleach. Mm -hmm. There's no story to it. Yeah, it's but, a fucking on, fighting man. game. The manga. It's kind of like when like, you <laughs> don't give two shits the about the characters. <laughs> I don't give any crap about the story. Yeah, no, but the it's just there are cool fights. No, well, the one I thing I, it, I like the fights. The one thing I liked about Bleach this week was that you thought this guy was like the big bad badass, and this whole time I'm reading this like, yo, when's he gonna pull some shit out to beat the uh, general or whatever? What's his name? Um, Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Yamamoto yeah. yeah. I was like, when's he gonna pull something out to like beat this guy? Because it looks like he's getting Ooh, his ass shot thugged. And then all of a sudden, like <laughs> half his body's missing, and I was like, I don't think he's coming back. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I failed you, uh, you, 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 you whatever the sure. fuck that guy's name. I don't know who he said, but um, that means that somebody else. And I also thought it was really cool that they said that uh, the reason why you fear Ichigo so much was because you don't understand his Bankai giving their chance for it to evolve. And I was like, oh my god, Ichigo's gonna learn new things. He's not just gonna do the same move for 72,000 chapters. <laughs> so Ichigo's hopefully gonna learn some new shit. Yamamoto's still a thug, uh, which makes me think if Aizen was right, like if Aizen had to go up against Yamamoto like one-on-one, -on -one, he would've got scrubbed. What does he didn't even eat? Because like... He didn't even need to, like, actually fight him. He could have just been like, I want to summon an army of dead things. Yeah. Which is cool. Didn't Yamamoto come in against Aizen for, like, a hot second and then leave for some reason? That no, I he don't fought the giant, like, beast thing. Mm. No, he fucked up the giant beast thing. Yeah. The little crazy kid sealed his sword away. He made that sword, uh, that, that, uh, Aran car purposely. Oh, right, to, like, stop. Uh, stop. Mm -hmm. And he said, like, in a fair fight, you kick my ass. That's why I have this guy. Oh. And then, <laughs> right, right, I remember that. Noted. Aizen's, Aizen was just a lot more intelligent than any other person in Soul Society, so he's like, alright, if I can't beat him, then seal him. That's smart of him. I kind of want Yamamoto to be the final bad guy. I know it sounds weird and it sounds fucking what? stupid, but he's, he's definitely fucking awesome enough. would that be? I thought, yeah. I thought it'd be awesome for, uh, Uda Hard and the final bad guy because this guy looks like he's a thug. Like. Also, super thug, kind of shady. Yeah, he's always like, oh yeah, I uh, need just to wait till the right opportunity to shoot this guy through the heart. It's like, you couldn't have done that when you first got here? Just wondering. Because, like, <laughs> they kind of did that, like, on point and it was really easy for you, so. Gun sniper rifle. Yeah, like, we didn't have to do this. We didn't have to fight. No. No, as, as much as I'm not a huge Bleach fan, I like it for. I like the fact that it's there. Yeah, me too. Like as a, like, as a counterbalance yeah. to Naruto, like it's a palate cleanser. That, that, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's Things like, are getting too like story driven for you like, in Naruto. Jump to Bleach, get your fighting on. It's like have your, a good day. It's like your fries like with you. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, well, I kind of I like it because it's another fucking manga that I can read. Like, Seriously? it's when you're dumping Naruto, you're like, no. Oh, you guys watch like, Bacano at all? No, I've been. This is getting way too off track. Yeah, all right, no. well, it's on Netflix. It's badass. Whatever. I've been. All right, guys. Uh, just real quick. Other mangas to check out: Bleach, One Piece, uh, Fairy Tale. Hitman, Fairy Tale, Hitman Reborn is one of my favorites. Actually, I think it has some of the best art and story in manga universe. Read Blue Exorcist if you guys haven't read Blood. Blue I Exorcist. That's, also That's very really good. good. Samurai Seven. Uh, Samurai, Samurai Seven. Seven. Is that a manga? Well, I watched the not, anime. Not, I really like. Uh, well, the anime. I for animes, I also really liked. Um, Darker, than, Darker than Black was good. Uh, what's the one? With Butler. Black Butler? Black Butler. I knew it was Black Dark something. Yeah, Black Never Butler was... Never watched it. It's a very light watch. Like, you enjoy watching it, not because it's got a great story and great fights, but because the characters and what goes on are, is, like, very enjoyable. And, yeah, just watch it. Also, if you haven't already, read Full Metal Alchemist or watch FMA me. Brotherhood. Yeah. yeah. Do uh, yourself a favor. That's, just watch That's so good. Just watch Brotherhood. Brotherhood is so well done. Read Full Metal Alchemist. The first Full Metal Alchemist wasn't that good, and people swore by it. And I was, like, I was talking to one of my friends about it a while back when I was in high school, and they were like, "He was like, wait, I don't remember Lee or Lin or yeah." And he's like, yeah. "I was saying all the shit that didn't happen in like the regular Full Metal Alchemist because I was reading, not watching. This was before Brother, and like reading. I'm so glad that I read it first because reading it and the Brotherhood story is so much better than like the Brotherhood. Other story. Well, that's how it always is when it, like those diverge like." Yeah. No, well, well that Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist, like the manga, are completely different. Like, there's characters and stuff oh, that happens that just. They diverge. Yeah. So. Oh, well, diverge would mean, like, they would have to start off at, like, the same point. Like, they would. Well, they do kind of start off at the like same a, point. For, like, a, like, like a season. Yeah, for, like, yeah. Yeah. And it catches up, and 
Square Enix was. I've been trying to think of a joke the this whole fucking time, like, oh. and I've got nothing. All I can think of is an anti joke where it says, "Why the chicken costs her own cancer." That's all. <laughs> that's all I fucking got. I I can't. Sorry, I'm not mad. Why the chicken crossed the Mobius Strip to get the same side? Okay, well. God damn you! That's a good one. Whatever. I'm not a fan. We're going to eat some crap. Oh yeah, so let's fucking do it. We'll see right. you guys.